everyone welcome to uh, goals masters youtube series and in this series i will be sharing with you all the experiences and all the tips you need while applying for this uh, scholarship uh, this scholarship is based in europe and it includes five universities uh, starting with university of lille in france uh, nicolas copernicus university in poland nicolas romerus university in lithuania luxembourg uh, and also Portugal, uh, the University of Lisbon. So uh, in this master's program, uh, you will be having two tracks uh, uh, while doing this international master's in sports management. The first track is leisure, sports and event management. And the second track is, of course, sports industry. In this series, I will be introducing you with my fellow colleagues from uh, this cohort, uh, as well as some uh, episodes will involve people from the previous cohort as well. And we will be sharing our experiences in which you will be uh, knowing more about this program and will also understand how it feels to be a Goals Master Scholar. And uh, in this first episode, I will be inviting my colleague from India. Uh, Hello Ronak, how are you? Thank you, hi. <laughs> so in this series, we will be discussing about Goals Master's uh, Scholarship. And as you know, uh, a lot of people are applying right now for mm -hmm. the scholarship for the third cohort. So. Having you here, I want to ask your experience in the first semester so far and what would you like to share with all the people who are watching this uh, episode? Sure, sure. First of all, thank you for having me on board. Uh, talking about my experience, for, to sum it up in one word, I would say it was a roller coaster ride. And uh, yeah, since the, the application process, uh, I remember it was the January, the same month last year, where I was bit of nervous working on it really hard the way i write my motivation letters and everything and how i'm gonna i was nervous and everything and yeah uh, this was the period and finally being into the program finishing off now this year with the first semester it, it has been a journey i would say an amazing journey and uh, yes a lot of memories a lot of memories okay so you yourself has played uh football in Portugal as well. Uh -huh. So coming from a professional background and going towards academic. So people who are already playing and want to pursue uh, a master's degree in sports management. So I would like to know the motivation behind this decision and how beneficial it can be for all those young uh, people who are aspiring to pursue this degree. Well, I love the question. First of all, thank you for asking Sazan. So, um, I would say the motivation behind getting this uh, opportunity of Erasmus Master's Board Program is so so interesting is that uh, it is surrounded with the diversity of global learning and nurtures you into the global uh, sport and federation level, how it works, you know, the frameworks and everything. And me playing uh, football professionally in Europe uh, and as well as in Asia, it has just uh, gathered me a good knowledge being as an athlete in the f uh, space but now the motivation has been behind me that how I can serve myself beyond an athlete and that is behind the scenes how it works. I've always been the, under the spotlight and now I want to be behind the scenes how it works and everything and well that's been the whole uh, you know um, motivation for me to be in this uh, learning process to know about the intricacies of all these uh, you know uh, work, working methodology of sport at the professional level and not just in my region but globally how it works so yeah okay since we are still in france and you have lived in portugal as well True. so people are applying in france as well like generally as well for different programs since there are so many programs so many universities in france where mm -hmm. international students especially from south asia are coming so how's your experience compared to Portugal? Did you find it different from Portugal? And if yes, uh, how? Well, uh, in terms of uh, Portugal and uh, France, the regional differences, I would say, yes, it has few. The culture is everything uh, different, as you say. But I wouldn't say there's much of a difference in, uh, in the perspective of academics uh, ways because I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to be that well exposure in Portugal to experience that. Well, in, in future coming of this program, I will be there. What about the expenses? <laughs> Talking about the expenses, yes. 
France is much uh, higher up in the scale uh, with the expensive margin because I think yes, it's very uh, uh, how to say it, bigger surface uh, majority of people uh, living in Europe and as we all know. Mm-hmm. How do you rate the weather here in Lille compared to Lisbon? Uh, <laughs> weather in Lisbon is much more pleasant because it's on the coast side. It's more humid and it's beautiful. I mean, I would love love enjoying my summers in Lisbon compared to France. Sorry for the, all the Persians <laughs> or the people who love France, but yeah, that's that's it. Um, France is much more uh, chillier and colder in the winters. Right now we are in January and it's uh, like minus four degrees over here. <laughs> Yeah, and the lowest tomorrow is minus six here. Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> I didn't want to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So moving forward to my next question, as we all know, India is a big market, and in sports, it's mm-hmm. growing very fast, and it's expected to host Olympics in 2036 as well. So, considering all this, there are so many uh, students who are aspiring to work in the sports industry, and a degree like Gold's Master. Uh, what do you think? How important is getting an international degree with so much exposure, diversity, and going back to your home country and working in sports industry? So, based on the importance, how important do you think? Uh, it's it's uh, highly important. I would say the degree I'm doing, I'm pursuing right now, would uh, set me up to this upcoming uh, major events, which is very potential that India would be hosting, and uh, it has. Um, it has a great impact on my portfolio because uh, having already worked and learned from the westerners as well as uh, already participating or hosting uh, countries of the olympics as paris itself in 2024 right now it's hosting and it's a big learning as well as when we are seeing at the sports economy of india which has been going massively as we see in the la uh, olympics uh, in 2028 uh, cricket has been uh, introduced yeah. <laughs> so good news for us <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> that that's for sure but yeah so we can see that uh, yes india is being massively growing and it has making a, a spot in the olympics and the world level now so yes it, it it's going to give a bigger exposure uh, i believe after the cricket uh, being introduced as well right. on a global scale so as we're moving forward it is going to be um, a demand for sure for you know um, uh, like how to say it, individuals or uh, professionals already having to know this knowledge at a global stage as well so this uh, especially uh, the course which we are doing goals masters prepares you f- to work under all the regions of the globe so whereas when i speak for my fellow mates from the country uh, is that having well prepared and being in the industry at a global level will actually uh, see you in high demand if you're really looking forward to apply for goals masters i would say because it's a really high demand you can see in potential coming years ahead as india hosting the world cups so, and as well as india uh, hosting cricket uh, uh, you know major events as well like that so cricket is now at a global scale and as we know uh, cricket is dominated by india and pakistan and that's that's a major thing where they need there is going to be a demand for uh, you know individuals who have great knowledge of sports as well in the global arena so yeah i feel that's very much important uh, uh, coming back to your question i just got taken away that, yeah is that it's very much important i feel uh, this uh, program how can it inculcate uh, my my standing in the future coming so yeah that's yeah. i would say So moving to my last question a lot of students from India as well as different parts of the world are applying for this scholarship reflecting back on your experience of applying what advice would you give to all those students or <laughs> anything you want to share with them sure 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 i would like to give in you the insights <laughs> of how to get into it but um, yes uh, honestly i'll say it's not a big uh, thing deal to uh, you know get selected the most uh, important is the, how you prepare yourself first of all it's your preparation matters because when i started my preparation i, I had applied only for this uh, specific uh, program and yes somehow i did it <laughs> while i was confident in myself so first of all be confident about yourself prepare yourself well and uh, eventually uh, results will show up i would say 
your I, it, for me i took a good while of three months of preparation before i sent my application the way i scripted my uh, motivation letters and uh, i had got my references as well as uh, the cvs and everything i had made uh, i think that um, made a good impact for me getting scouted for the interview round yes interview round uh, is the hmm. next step <laughs> the next <Yeah>. puzzle <laughs> where i would come as well uh, i would like to stress is that how you prepare yourself for the interview also matters the uh, things i would say is uh, not to be nervous be confident because that's what they want to see uh the the ones the jury wants to uh, see how good you are how well spoken you are how can you uh, uh describe yourself well uh, on camera and uh, tell about yourself what are your plans what is your motivation for joining this program and what do you understand by uh, coming to this program and can you bear the um, uh, different challenges what may come of traveling to different countries living in different uh temperature zones like climatic zones you know and completely different like we if, for the fellow Asians coming from temperature of 34 degrees directly to the minus 17 celsius in villainous and poland and all you know so yes that's what they are checking obviously and um this this is what i will say you all should prepare on prepare yourself well do some mock drills probably if you want with fellow uh, erasmus scholars already get in touch with them in my preparation yes i did get connected with uh, my fellow previous cohort students and also other erasmus students to uh, get a heads up about how the uh, uh, interview is going to be how what would they ask and you know that helped me a lot eventually to get myself uh, very uh, acquainted and uh, to the interview round and it was i think it was very easy for me i felt i didn't feel under any pressure or something like that and yeah i would say that's the thing and yes once once you got that and in no sooner yes if you've done everything well everything's gone smooth and enough you get your letter and <laughs> that's for sure but uh, also it doesn't end uh, just after getting selected and being in there there's a lot more other challenges also you got to come up and cope up with so you need to get, have a heads up of how you're going to manage yourself coming to a foreign land and with all the documentations and all it's going to be a stress getting yourself a housing uh, uh, with everything transport travel your luggage your baggage obviously <laughs> your spices <laughs> and everything <laughs> so yep yeah, it's it's going to be a um, a whole uh, how to say an experience for the ones who are coming to europe uh, for the first time it's going to be an amazing experience that you will have to see all the challenges and all but in all those experiences there is learnings and those beautiful learnings will obviously craft you into a better person i would say so yeah it's an it's an tip i would give you <laughs> yeah thank you so much rana thank Bye. you so much fazan it was a pleasure see you soon thank you